In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the editing tools of Premiere. And you'll find these tools over on the right hand side. Now, the main tool that we're going to use almost all the time is the selection tool, and that's the tool I'm on right now. And it allows me to select clips, and I can drag those clips around if I want to. Um, wouldn't be a good idea, of course, it'll uh, mess up the edit here, but um, you can move things out and one of the other nice things that you often do with this tool is ripple delete things. So if you right click in between two clips you can use a ripple delete and that will uh, delete everything that is to the right of that particular edit point. So that works pretty well. Now sometimes you want to select a lot of things and so you can click and drag around things but sometimes you'll have a lot on your timeline and I'm just gonna actually add a whole bunch of stuff to my timeline here. It doesn't really matter what I add but you'll see I have a lot of clips and they go beyond my um, scene. So I can use the track select tool and that will allow me to select everything to the right of whatever I'm clicking. And that's really useful because you can select multiple tracks or multiple layers at one time um, and you can select all the way through your entire program. And so um, nice tool but uh, sometimes if you just zoom out you'll be able to use just the arrow tool and click and drag around the things you want as well. So that's helpful. Um, you can also by the way add on to it like I said you may sometimes need to do multiple tracks so I'm going to move these up to that track and move them over. So I'm going to zoom in now and you'll see when I use this tool it will only do the track that I'm currently on. If I hold down the shift key it will do everything. So that's useful to know as well. Let me undo that and move it back. Now, the next tools that we're going to be looking at are the ripple edit and the rolling edit tools. Now, I'm going to get in a little bit closer to an edit that I've made here. And these tools are really, really helpful. The ripple edit tool allows me to delete part of a clip, either the end or beginning of a clip, and it edits the entire timeline. So you'll notice um, if I click and drag here and go back, it edits everything. So I'm going to actually get rid of some of these other things that I put in here just because I really only need it with these three um, clips that I've got here to be able to show all this. So anyway, um, I'm going to go in and now I'm going to edit the end of one track or one clip or the beginning of the next clip. And when I click and drag on one of them, you'll notice that it's actually showing me what is going to be, right up here, it's showing me what is going to be the last frame that I see. Now the problem with this is that it's going to change, um, oops, I'm on the wrong tool. Ha! There we go. Now it's going to show me what is the last frame of that clip and it's also going to show me what's the first frame of the next clip. And that what it allows me to do is be able to sync the two a little bit better so I can match cut a little easier because I can see what the next frame is going to look like in the next clip. So it's helpful. Now sometimes you'll want to use the rolling edit tool. And what this allows you to do is edit the space or let's say the edit between two clips keeping the length of both clips the same. So you'll see that it allows me to see the out frame of the first clip and the in frame of the next clip. And then I can roll this forward and backward um, depending upon if I have the footage to do so. So it allows me to kind of go back in that action and choose to edit at the beginning of it or maybe at the end of that action just to see how it works. And you'll see right here it doesn't work. And the reason why is because her hand is much lower here than it is there. So that's why rolling this back to the beginning allows me to work that a little bit better. So that's a nice way to play with your edit but not keep, uh, not change the time that you currently have. Now the other tools right here are the rate stretch tool um, which you're not allowed to use because it actually changes how fast that um, video plays. And if I try it here, that's probably not what we want. So I'm not going to use that tool in most of my editing. The razor tool allows me to make a cut in video 
and to possibly do an insert at that point. So I could cut that video and get rid of it, or I could move it over and insert something else in between. So, and that's a pretty common tool. Now, one of the things that we'll often use that for is for cutting our time or our music or our audio because maybe we want audio from another clip to be played here. So in that case, you can actually lock the video track, then go to the cut tool and cut your audio alone, and then I can delete that point of the audio if I don't need it there. So it, sometimes you can only um, cut out one part of it, and sometimes you want to cut out um, the video and leave the audio, and sometimes vice versa. After that tool, we have the slip and we have the slide tool. So I'm going to undo that edit I just made and then unlock that footage. There we go. So everything should be back to normal. Now the slip tool allows you to change the um, in point and out point of a single clip but keep the length of that clip the same. So you'll see as I drag this clip it's showing me a lot of information up here. It's showing me what's the out frame of the first um, clip or the first edit there. Then it's showing me the in frame of the last clip or the third clip here. And then it's showing me the in point and out point of the current clip. So you can see that I can slip that footage left or right um, to help me make that edit a little bit better. I'm not going to do anything right here. I'm going to leave it the way it is. The next one is the slide tool. And I'm going to make sure that I can see all of my footage here. And the slide tool allows me to move around this one clip to the left and right, forward and backward in time, but keep the length of all three edits the same. So it can be quite useful at times, but of course you have to have the right scenario for it. And what we've got here footage-wise is probably not the right scenario. But um, it's a good tool to play with to try and, try and get comfortable with. Back to the main tools that we're going to be using. Um, you'll find yourself using the selection tool, the ripple edit, and rolling edit tools the most. And as well, of course, the razor tool or cut tool when you need it. Um, other tools that are down here allow you to move around your um, timeline or maybe zoom into your timeline or zoom out of your timeline. And of course, a lot of these already exist. And even when you're on any other tool, you just go ahead and use the different features that they have right here on the timeline. and allows you to do the same thing um, pretty easily. But um, hopefully that gives you a pretty good indication of what the different tools are um, and how to use them in most of your editing. I promise you the better that you learn these rolling and, and ripple edit tools and cut tools, um, the faster you'll be at making the edits that you really need. And um, I think that's it. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.